Hello and welcome to my home. Today we're going to talk about social and emotional development. Social and emotional development is a child's ability to understand the feelings of others, control his or her own feelings and behaviors, to build relationships with others, and to get along with other children. So next I'm going to give you a couple suggestions on how you can help promote social and emotional development. One thing I do every day is start the day off with morning meeting. At morning meeting, the students pair up and they tell each other good morning, they can give each other a hug, a handshake, a high five, or a hand wave. And when they do this, they know that they need to look each other in the eyes. Then they get a talking stick like this one. And the person with the talking stick gets to share something, and it can be anything, anything they want to talk about. And the other person is looking at them and listening. Then they switch roles. And this helps them to get that talking and listening skill down. Especially at the end when I ask them, what did your partner tell you? Another thing I have is at the end of the day, we do an afternoon wrap up. And at this time, we sit in the circle, and we all get to share something. Sometimes it's something kind we did for someone. Sometimes it's just something we enjoyed during the day. But it's a nice way to close out the day in a positive, calm way. I also make sure to keep playtime into my daily schedule. There is so much that kindergartners have to do, but that play is so important. They learn so much through it cognitive skills, social emotional skills, um, using their imagination, using balance, using counting, using reading, using writing. It's so important. So I always make sure that 30 minutes a day my students are playing. One last thing that I have in my classroom to help with social and emotional skills is a cool down center. And at the cool down center I have several of these and they just remind students to stop Take some deep breaths and then see if you're calm. And if they're not calm, they're welcome to do it again. But if they are calmed down, then they're welcome to join the group. Research shows that dogs can also play a positive role in social and emotional development. It shows that children who are raised with dogs around tend to have more positive feelings, be more pro-social, and be more empathetic. Some other things that pets can help us with, they can help improve our social skills, our empathy skills, our relationships, our coping skills, our self-esteem, our family climate, responsibility, and stress, stress management. Now, those things are all great and they can definitely help our children. And I want to share with you a few other reasons why my students think it's great to have a dog in the classroom. When I saw a dog in the classroom, I would be happy because we can have a day with the dog. Okay. Hadley, what did you want to add? I did the home tour. I like a I like Abby because she's so cute and she likes me. Okay, Evangeline. Do you think that we should have a dog in the classroom, Matthew? Um because I like to pet and um soft stuff. How does she make you feel when she's in here? I'm happy.